Let's delete documents and data in Safari. Now, if Safari is taking up a bunch of space on your iPhone, it's using up a lot of information related to previous websites you visited, cache, cookies, all of that stuff, downloads. I'm gonna show you how to delete all of those documents and data. So let's hop into your settings here and we'll go to two different places. One is we'll scroll down until we find, oh, I might have scrolled too far. There it is, Safari. Now let's scroll down again and I'm gonna hit clear history and website data and clear history and data. Now this will allow me to close all the tabs. This will delete a bunch of documents and data, but it doesn't delete everything. So to delete everything, let's go back and then let's go up and tap on general and then iPhone storage. Now on here, what it'll do is it'll show every single app on your iPhone, including Safari. So let's just scroll down and find Safari on this list. There it is. Now here you can see documents and data, 44 megabytes, website data. Normally if you just tap on that, this will show all of that website data, but we just deleted it all. You can see history here, downloads and extensions. So you can go into any of these different things and delete out if there is data in there. Keep in mind this documents and data at the very top. While you can get it pretty low, it's only 42 megabytes. There's no way to completely delete out all of that information. It will be there because it is a required app on your phone that just is on there. You can always just tap and hold on here and then hit remove app and then remove from home screen. But keep in mind, it still will be installed on your iPhone. Your Apple, Apple iPhone just does not allow you to permanently delete that uh, Safari app that would delete all the documents and data. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.